Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your three month forecast. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I just want to let you know, so this is being recorded on October 15th, so if you watch it right around the 15th, the first month is from October 15th to November 15th, okay? Just giving you an idea of how this works. If it's, you know, if you watch it on October 30th, then it would be the month num number one would be the month of November and so on. So we're going to do month one, month two, and month three. I wasn't going to do you guys next. I, I was going to actually do Aquarius next. I had it in my mind like I'm doing Aquarius last. next. Leo is last. <laughs> okay. I, I had had you guys that I was going to do you guys a couple days ago. And then something came over me and I said, no, 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 you got to put Leo's off. You have to put Leo's, Leo's are in a hurry and they're going to get themselves in trouble because they're in such a hurry. So you need to wait. You, you need to wait. So I was like, okay, okay. All right. All right. I'll wait. I'll do Aquarius next. And then this morning I was sitting on the couch going through my comments and, um, I was just sitting there going through all my comments every morning when I get up, I approve my comments on my videos I was going through my comments and approving them, and out of the blue, I heard, I heard, you gotta do Leo next, and I'm like, what the fuck? Excuse my language. I'm like, okay. So, you know, I talked to my spirit guides. I'm like, okay, and they said, Leo is, if you are single, and then I'm, so anyway, I had to clarify what I heard. So anyway, I heard Leo is the narcissist's new supply. <clears throat> very clear. I heard it very clearly. Leo is the narcissist's new supply. Those exact words. And I'm like, okay. So I thought, well, what if, what if, okay, so the Leos that are, have just gotten into a relationship, so that's what I'm thinking, you could, are these people that are just getting into a relationship? Or, And so, yes, if you have just gotten into a relationship or you are getting into a relationship, you need to be very careful because, and this really, I mean, I'm sure that a lot of you don't want to hear this because a, a narcissist, will love bomb you and choose the weakest person, somebody that is desperate. Okay? So just, you need to keep this in mind. Somebody that is, is really desperate for love. And they will also prey on people with really big hearts. So if they, a, a narcissist will go after somebody who is desperate and somebody that has a big heart. So please be careful. Some of you will say, oh, that doesn't resonate with me. I know it all. Be careful with that thought. Be careful with that thought. What do we got for Leo month number one? Month number two. Month number three. Um, now that doesn't mean that every single one of you is dealing with a narcissist. But that is what I heard. <sighs> Month number one, please, for Leo. Month number two. And I heard new supply. They are the narcissists. And it's plaguing me. It's plaguing me. I came and sat in here and I was like, I'm still doing Aquarius next. But I can't. Because it's like, no, Leo needs to know. Month number three, please. Come to the edge, month number three. What do we got for Leo for the next three months? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we got for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Month number one. One more card. There it is. 
Month number two, please. Month number two. Month number three. And an overall energy for Leo for the next three months. An overall energy for Leo for the next three months. One card, please. Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords is about taking a break. This is also uh, needing to take a break. Solitude. This is also the death of a person or the death of an idea. Okay? So, it is. This is one of the cards that I have investigated. So, this is a uh, feeling empty inside, needing to meditate to get answers, needing to take a time out. Make sure that you are really thinking about things before taking action. I mean, the next three months, perhaps you need to go within um, to find yourself, uh, whatever, however that resonates with you. But this is rest withdrawal, exhaustion, needing to take a break. Maybe maybe this is uh, really finding out who you are in the next three months because that's what, like, the death of a person or the death of an idea with of who you used to be. This is take a break. Slow down, please. Do not rush. Rushing is going to get you in trouble. It really, 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 really is. And I sense it. I feel it so strongly for you. It's, it's, it's like plaguing me. Anyhow, month number one. Month number one. Oh my God. Self-love. You really need to love yourself and that little girl, that inner child. Look at her face. Interesting, huh? You have to you have to nurture that child. Perhaps you weren't taken care of as a child or you were abused or a ch as a child or you were neglected as a child. Now it's time for you to work on that child. Take care of your child. And I'm talking, and maybe it's, you'd have to take care of your, your own child as well. Maybe you need to take care of your children right now, including your own child within you, your inner child. If you were neglected or abused as a child or, you know, somebody from your, your parents, okay, your parents, one of your parents or both of your parents instilled things into you, you know, based on what they thought you know, instilled their values and their ideals into you, you know, maybe it's time for you to really figure out who you are. It is. That's what this is about in month number one. You really need to take care of yourself. Nurture that child. Take that little child by the hand and be that child's mother. Peace. You notice everything during a reading is for you. There's no such thing as coincidence. This was backwards. It was backwards. I had to fix it. I had to just take a minute. I had to take a second, whatever, to fix it. What happened is, is I was moving too fast when I set this up. And I wasn't paying attention. I was in a hurry. I had to get this done. And I got it backwards. Month number one. 
Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords, Five of Swords, Strength. Oh, well, that's beautiful, isn't it? You're here. You are here. Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So this is stressful. This is, this is sadness. This is worry. This is depression. This is anxiety. Um, having a hard time. Having a hard time coping. Having a hard time coping with some sort of truth or betrayal or crisis. This is a crisis. This is a betrayal. Um, with this card and this card, somebody could absolutely be dealing with a narcissist. It's, it's crazy, the messages that I get. A narcissist <clears throat> can't even be a parent. Okay? So, uh, anyhow... In month number one, let me get this zoomed in a little bit for you. In month number one, I feel this is the, this is the tens are completions. I know that a lot of readers don't mention that, but tens are completions. They are a completion of a cycle. They really are. They, some, well, some other readers will make this, you know, this is all about prosperity. This is a completion of a family dynamic. That's what this is. Uh, this could be somebody moving home. This is the completion of <clears throat> something in, in, a, in an establishment. Okay, so there's there's there's, there's the this could be the end of a legacy even. Um, this could be selling a home. Okay, this is a change in residence. Or a some some something like that, <clears throat> and I don't know why my throat is acting up so bad. Anyway, um, and this is severing ties. This is severing ties. So somebody may be severing ties with you, or you may be severing ties with them. You could be severing ties with a home, or a place of residence, or a job, or a relationship. You are going to be very resilient this month. I think that you are going to ha be writing your own, um, well, you're going to have your own strength, okay? And you're going to need to find your strength, your resilience. Um, but I do see, I mean, swords are worry. Swords are thoughts. If you look at the majority of these cards, we have some troublesome, we have some trouble here. This is trouble. This is trouble. And it's trouble over acceptance. It's trouble over the truth. It's like, and this, this could be, you know, somebody making a firm decision and going by the facts. The fact is, this is too stressful. This is, um, you know, the Five of Swords is very belittling. It is, it is a very belittling energy. I feel as though you are going to need to sever ties with somebody that, you know, when I see the Five of Swords, there's usually two other people walking away. It's like sever ties with somebody that has another person. And it's, it's amazing that I, I, uh, I, I saw that narcissist thing. It's like your supply. You are supply for this narcissist. Perhaps whoever this person is was... Uh, cut out by another person and and they're and they're coming after you they see your beauty they see your resilience they see your your grace you're very graceful right you're very kind you're very generous you have a lot to offer this person is very cold okay very 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 cold very matter of fact not acting out of their heart in any way shape or form this person um may have ulterior motives so you need to be very very careful whoever this person is could be a libra gemini or an aquarius that you are dealing with this person um it's like this person looks kind of angry and it's like they they see your beauty or they see your they see your grace they see your ability to take care of them in some way it's like they want your energy. This is you have a high energy. You're vibrating at a high level, and it's like they want your energy. They will drain you. This is drained. It's and this is drained as well. Be careful about who you let you drain your energy. Okay, let's get a couple of uh, clarifies. What is this Five of Swords? This is tension. 
And this is an awakening. This is a wake-up call. You need to wake up. It's like your gut is telling you that something isn't right. But you are just allowing it. It's like you're allowing this person to have some sort of hold over you. Giving. This is giving and receiving. So this is being very generous. Yes, I know that you are very generous. But is this worth it? Is it worth it? Is there really going to be any growth here? You need to think about this. This is think about what you are investing in. If it's causing you stress, if you are crying about it, if it's causing you any worry whatsoever, why are you investing in it? So I feel like you have a big heart, right? Your heart is huge, and that's why. And this person sees your big heart. And that is what a narcissist is crazy that that came up. A narcissist will go after somebody that is has a big heart, somebody that lacks self-esteem, somebody that is in a hurry, somebody that they can control. Whoever this person is, they, they, they want you to give to them. They want you to give your heart to them, but it will not last. It will not last. It will end. It will end. And the reason the reason they are coming after you is because something is ending with their current supply. Okay, we have an ending. And they they need attention. They need attention. But what will happen with this person? What will happen with this person that is entering Leo's kingdom? Who what will what will this person what will happen with this person in the end? This person is offering relationship, right? They're offering love. Oh, they are very, very secretive. And it will be a power struggle. This is a power struggle. This is conflict. This is a game. It'll be a tug of war. There will be a lot of back and forth. This person, I feel like this person will come. They will come and they will go. This person probably has another person. And they may tell you that they don't. But I think you know. I think you know that this person is in another relationship. And they keep going back and forth. They're going to keep going back and forth between you and this other person. That's what they're going to do. And I think that you know that. You know that. So I think that month number one, you are going to have to find your discipline and your willpower to, you know, accept the Ace of Swords, the fact, the fact, except the fact that you are dealing with uh, somebody that wants, this is, this is somebody that is very controlling, somebody that uh, wants to get all that they can get from you, and you need to move on. This is move on and move on. This person will not stick around. They will not. You're going to need to find your strength to overcome this. You're going to need to move on from this. You're need to, need, going to need to take control. I feel as though you have somebody coming in that does not have love for you. I don't think they do. I don't. I don't. I think that they may say that they do. But I think they're saying that because whoever they are dealing with, they're dealing with two people. You and another person. Whoever they are dealing with is severing ties with them. Whoever they are dealing with... Um, is not letting them win and they need they need the the heartfelt attention they that's what they need and it's almost like they see your vulnerability so and this is more of an intuitive reading and then in the cards are giving me cues but I'm telling you right now 
And you don't have to believe me and you don't have to like me and I don't care. You need to love yourself and nurture yourself and really think about what you are investing in. You need to think about what you are investing in. If you have any doubts at all, there is a reason that you have those doubts. That is your gut telling you that this person is in another relationship with somebody. You're, this, is, this is your gut telling you that this person doesn't have good intentions. But there's so many people that do not listen to their gut because of their lack of self-love. Their lack of respect for themselves. If you are a Leo and you are in a relationship now, I feel as though you are thinking, this is thinking about, is this worth it? Should I keep investing in this? That is, the, that's the, that's this card right here. This is move, move on. This is move on. And this one is too. This is self-love. Love yourself enough to not be manipulated by somebody that love bombs you. Says all the right things. And deep down, you know this isn't right. Now, these are both cards. Relo all three of these. Relocation, 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 and relocation even. Okay? Somebody may be relocating. Or needing to relocate. This doesn't have to be physical relocation. But it probably is for many. But this is this could be... Um, Leaving all the stress behind, leaving this stressful situation behind, taking back control. So I think month number one is about severing ties. This is severing ties and this is an ending. So that you can have the relationship that you deserve. The relationship that you deserve after, you know, in the when you love yourself. If you don't love yourself, then you will attract a narcissist. Self-love. Mm. Be courageous. Listen to your own advice. What would you tell your friend? Your inner child is an aspect of the self, reminiscent of all that you have learned and experienced. Free, spontaneous, creative, and full of wonder. Your inner child longs to be in a state of joy, but also requires nurturing, attention, and constant reassurance. Your inner child feels these extremes of emotion because they lack understanding of why particular circumstances have occurred. You can shift long-standing emotional patterns by working with your inner child, your inner self, resolving problems, trauma, and issues that you have found challenging and difficult to address. While you may have grown up quickly or had a limited childhood absent of opportunities and experiences, the inner child is an aspect of you that requires love and attention, even as an adult. Emotions are powerful like children. Adults manipulate, rebel, throw tantrums, and also can put on a brave face for the sake of others. To create a symbiotic relationship, you... The parent and your inner child must work in agreement of security, safety, acceptance, and surety. Acknowledging that you have been wounded is the first step in shifting your mindset. Self-love is essential right now as there is a child within you needing parental help and advice. You need, you, you, you need to take care of yourself, Leo. <laughs> Grieving for the past or circumstances that we did not understand at the time, no matter how old you were, is now necessary. Take the time. Take the time. Right here. Take the time. Be courageous and learn the power of no. If you were to see the little you now, 
So think about it. Imagine you. Imagine yourself at 10 years old right now. Picture the 10-year-old you. You're looking at yourself. You're 10 years old. Picture it. You're that you're your mother. You're your mother. Or your father. What would you tell yourself? What sage advice would you give knowing what you know today? Look at yourself at 10 and tell yourself you are worthy. You're good enough. You're beautiful. You're going to do great things. You are strong. You can do it. One more thing I want you to tell that 10 year old is I want you to look at that 10 year old. You look at yourself at 10 years old and say, I love you. Tell that child that I love you, that you are looking at right now. I love you. I love you enough to protect you. I will protect you. I will protect you from harm. You protect yourself from harm. I will not let you be abused. I will not let you be taken advantage of. I will protect you. Peace. Peace. Don't ignore that little girl or that little boy inside. Do not. Because you need constant reassurance from somebody because you didn't get it when you were a child. So you may have, you may choose somebody that is very similar to the one that neglected you. To get that reassurance? Yeah. That's what happens. Peace. Freedom from attachment. Radical acceptance. <laughs> and acceptance is here. And we have a problem. We have a problem here. We do. I know that we do. Radical acceptance. Wanting acceptance from everybody. Wanting to have what everybody else has, right? It doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, right here. A heart fulfilled, freedom from want, and the soul's satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. When two people in an, are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. But we don't, there's not harmony here. There's not. And not harmony here. So you you need to accept it. If there's not harmony, if there's any kind of doubt, if there's any kind of worry, if you can't sleep, if you're worried about what somebody is doing, then things are not in harmony and you cannot live in denial. You can. <laughs> but that sucks. This is one of those times when you are capable of clear vision about your work and how you create your prosperity. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're called by a presence to step into your power. Just being is enough. For you are in peaceful harmony with spirit and it shows in your work. Now is the time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions. Even if you are dissonant. Hold on. Hold on, I got to turn the page. Even if there are dissonant notes in the music of your life, all that means is that you must go within and fine tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty. We got a problem here. 
a narcissist will latch on to somebody that doesn't love themselves. Take a time out from whatever this situation is and go within. And I'm not talking four hours. I'm not talking a day. You need to heal yourself so that you do not get abused by somebody who sees your vulnerability. Month number one is about taking a break and finding peace and harmony with your previous neglect. Healing that inner child. Pushing away people that are causing you to repeat the same patterns over and over and over again because you don't love yourself. It's severing ties and finding yourself in month number one. And that means really severing ties. Finding your strength and your courage. To not invest in things that don't have any growth, that will not grow anymore. We're moving on to month number two. I know a lot of you didn't want to hear that, did you? But it is what it is. There's fantasy readers everywhere, so I'm sure that you can hear exactly what you want to hear and go down that path to destruction. They're, they'll tell you that all is beautiful and fine and great and, you know, this is your twin flame and it's a pile of shit. Source happens to be me, <laughs> blonde hair and all. Anyway, um, source, listen to your source. Listen, 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 please. That wasn't confirmation. I don't know what was. Flexible. Flexible, so you need to be flexible or you are trying to be flexible. This is also very bright. I think that you will be shining very, very brightly. Maybe you're going to become source. Maybe you're going to listen to source. Maybe maybe you're going to uh, develop a divine connection. You do have one inside you. It's whether you listen to it or not. Totally looks like me. Interesting. The Knight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. I've never seen that card before. The Sun. Yeah, you're going to be vibrating on a higher level in month number two. And you want to know why? Because if you take, if you listen to the advice that I gave you for month number one, by month number two, you will be vibrating at a higher level. But if you give your energy away to somebody that wants to steal it, which you do have somebody in month one that does, then, well, that sucks. But um, this is walking away from something. Going after wishful. Eight of Cups to Nine of Cups. Justice. Now, this is balance and harmony. So month number two, you will be in more harmony. You will be in, in more balance. You know, this is happiness and your glory really, really shining. You're going to be shining in month number two. You really are. You may have a new opportunity that gets presented to you in month number two. You can't see it yet. It's above you. It hasn't come to you yet. But this could make you extremely, extremely happy. This is abundance. This could even be money that is coming in. Um, or a gift from somebody. Um, but this is walking away. That is what the Eight of Cups. This is leaving emotional disappointment behind and heading. If you notice, this person is leaving emotional disappointment behind and heading towards 
going down a new path into something more stable, more solid, more secure. But they have to leave something emotionally disappointing behind. There could be there could be some legal issues upcoming. This could be a divorce. This could be um, something to do with the courts. I don't know. Um, if you are going to court, you probably will. It will probably go out go in your favor. Okay, just saying. Um, it looks very positive. This month does look very, very positive. And I think it looks very positive because you're walking away from something. That is walking away from something. I think that because you take action to leave the, the emotional disappointment behind or you, you do something. It's like you, you're not going to think about this anymore. You're not going to invest in it anymore. This is... Um, you know, I'm going to walk away from this emotional disappointment and manifest... Uh, wish fulfillment and it's like you could actually you know it's like a wish could actually be granted here okay something could come to you in month number two because you walk away from something this is being at peace this really is being at peace and this is making that this is making the decision to walk away taking action will bring you a golden opportunity that you were missing you were missing this opportunity you just had to go down this path and through that doorway to see it so we do have another opportunity here that is that they've been waiting to show you. But you had to walk away from something first. So um, we do have some happiness in month number two. Absolutely. Right around the corner here. But there we do. And this is realized, not seeing that you had another opportunity. So this is crying over spilled milk. Uh, there was some sort of deception or lies. You could have been dealing with a Pisces. You could have been. Could have been dealing with a Libra as well. Or an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, but this is grieving over a loss. Uh, you didn't see something clearly. Somebody may have uh, told you that something and it wasn't true. I mean, that is the moon card. All is not as it seems. I feel like you, you've been crying over something that was... Uh, is some sort of lie in the first place and you are about to step into a new path this is this is leaving it all behind you leaving that sadness leaving that deception behind you and starting over starting from scratch so you will be starting from scratch starting with a clean slate in month number two um you are dealing with somebody in the past that had a, this is a card of ego and this is deception somebody that may have had a big ego um, this person has ghosted you or left you behind by now they have by month number two they have um, you may have been begging them for a chance and the answer is no and now you you're taking a new or they're begging you for a chance could go vice versa but I see you leaving it all behind leaving this uh, conflict I mean fives are conflict behind you got a you got an opportunity here okay this is a big big opportunity that they're trying to give to you but you still don't see it i don't think you see it yet because it's like you're headed you were you were headed in the wrong direction you notice now this person was headed in the wrong direction but this is leaving all of that behind you are seeing the truth i think you are going to see the truth <laughs> oh whoa me somebody been wearing a mask and that, and walking away taking that mask off okay somebody has been wearing a mask okay somebody has been wearing a mask dealing with a player dealing with somebody that came to probably have sex with them hit it and quit it and that's it and filled them up with a pile of shit and um now they've been left behind. You've probably been tearful about it, sad about it. You know, why did this happen? Well, I can tell you why it happened because you didn't know your worth and that's why it happened. But I feel like there is a decision that is being made to start over someplace else and leave this all behind. I think that whoever you're dealing, were dealing with had a lot of secrets. Um, but now you're going down a new path. It's like you're finding your focus. It's like, no, I want something solid. I want something stable. And I think you want to go after what you deserve. Um, and I think that's what you're going to be doing. You were dealing with a, sh a shady, sneaky individual that presented themselves to be solid. But 
it wasn't true okay they there was more to the story this person can talk the talk this person appeared to be solid but they weren't you weren't seeing that you had a better opportunity that's what i see here i feel like you were you, somebody was getting away with taking advantage of you and i think the lies are being exposed i think they they have been exposed or they if you if they weren't exposed in month 1 they're definitely going to be exposed in month 2 okay they definitely are justice and this is getting caught and there's been some lies and you know i whatever whatever if you do end up going to court if this is court related you you Whoever has been lying is going to get caught, just saying. You may have been in denial, though, over something. I think that you have, but this is denial, okay? Avoiding the truth, not wanting to see because of passion, right? Because of sex or whatever, whatever. What, wanting attention. So some people wear masks because I need attention. I just need attention, but I feel, I mean, the, now you have another opportunity they haven't shown to you, but you are about to start over and leave all this behind. You have somebody that if you, especially if you, if you are, okay, let's go from this. You may have an Aries. This is Aries. This is Aries that is going to come into your life. If you are single, if you have just gotten out of something very uh, troublesome, which by the looks of it. It's, it was like a cheating situation. I think what you have been involved in it had to do with some sort of a third party cheating situation. And I think that your golden opportunity that is being presented to you in this month, or maybe it, maybe it's, they, they may not be presenting it to you this month. They may not, but they may because it's above you. It's like you have to go down this path and leave this, this player behind, whoever this player is that you're dealing with. So in month number two, this is regaining order. But let me get back to what I was saying. If you are the male watching this, you may have a blonde. You may have a blonde Aries that comes into your life um, that um, you can have a clean slate with, that you may be starting over with. This is an exciting opportunity. So you do, this is exciting. Taking a leap of faith, taking a risk with this person, it could lead to something stable. It could, it could. If, but you do have to <clears throat> leave something else behind. You, this is leaving baggage behind and this is leaving something behind. And it's somebody that you have been dealing with recently. So just so you know, if you're trying to still keep that mask on and look way back and say, no, it's my ex from a year ago. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Open your eyes. This is somebody that you have dealt with recently that you are still playing with. They are playing with you. Okay, so don't try to mask it even further, you know, because that's what we got here. Somebody's been trying to mask it even further. And really, I mean, if you want to keep repeating those same patterns over and over and over and over again, well, that sucks. Anyway, if you are the female watching this, you have a true emperor. You have a true emperor that you are blocking. You are blocking a true emperor by dealing with a shady, sneaky individual who is playing you. So somebody, <clears throat> we definitely have an Aries here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for sure. Um, maybe it's another fire, there it is, I think it's another fire sign coming into your life. I think somebody will come into your life pretty much almost suddenly. I think this person will show up in your life when you, com when you stop looking back when you love yourself, when you stop deceiving yourself, when you make a final decision to, this is make a final decision to stop looking back, to stop letting your energy be stolen, stolen by this energy thief, whoever it is. You do have somebody that has something for you that the, it's like the, the God or universe or source or something has a golden opportunity for you, but you need to find your strength first. You need to find your strength to take that mask off. You need to rip that mask right off and and not let yourself be taken advantage of. I think that you have let yourself be taken advantage of and you need to stop doing that. And that's the way it goes. Month number two, I feel like you guys will definitely be more 
It's going to be a more positive month. It's going to be a happy month. You're going to be in your power. You're going to be standing strong. You're going to be looking very, very, very attractive. Um, you're going to be very dominant during this time. Um, you're going to want to move fast still, still. And, and, and that's always an issue for Leo. And I know that it is. So whatever. Um, Leos want to move quickly. They want to move quickly, and that will cause accidents. It will take time to think about your actions before you rush into things. Just saying. I'm just saying. Um, you don't want to get yourself abandoned or end up in, in, a, in a case where this ends up as a loss because something looks hot or it looks so good. I really need to tell you this. Yes, this is exciting. You have an exciting new beginning here with somebody. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't keep repeating the same patterns that are over and over again. Choosing people that are already in a relationship. Or choosing people that aren't healed from a relationship. Or whatever it is. Right around the corner is happiness. Probably by the end of month number two, you will be right in your glory. Flexible. Whoever this person is, if you are the female watching this, this person is a boss. If you are the male watching this, this is probably you. You are highly respected. People see you as the boss. People are feel very, very comfortable around you. They look to you for advice. You are highly respected. Own it if you are the male. If you are the male, you are, you are the boss. And everybody sees it. You may not know it, but you are. If you are the female watching this, you have a male that is probably going to come into your life. And my bet is it's a fire sign. That is my bet. A good bet. This will be an exciting opportunity to move into something very solid and stable. Somebody that you could actually, you know, this person is family oriented. This person is not the player you've been playing with. They're not. They're, this is somebody new. 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 Get it? N-E-W. This person is, is uh, wanting to settle down. They will want to settle down with you. They will protect you and they will take care of you. But you may miss it. You may miss it. There's a possibility that you could miss. It hasn't been shown. You could miss this opportunity. If you've got a blindfold on. And you haven't walked away from something. That is emotionally unfulfilling. <clears throat> that's that's part of free will. If you, if you hold on to. St things that uh, don't serve you. Uh, cheaters. Liars. Thieves. And you don't make the right decision. Well there's karma for that. There's consequences. Anyway, somebody could lose a golden opportunity for holding on to the wrong one. Just saying. And we do have a right one here. Somebody that can take really, really, really good care of you. Especially if you are the female. If you are the male, you have somebody that is this this one right here. If you, and this, this can go. I could look at these cards and read these all day. But anyway, this is somebody coming in unexpectedly that offers you a new beginning. And this is an exciting opportunity. This is an exciting, a very exciting opportunity where you are being called to go for it. Yes, you should go for it. But you also don't want to be naive and go for, and repeat the same patterns again. Make sure your eyes are wide open. You don't have no mask on. Anyway, we got problems here with you, Leo. I'm sorry. Um, your heart is so big. And people take advantage of that. 
you do have somebody coming in with an opportunity. Somebody is coming in with an opportunity for you. You may have two people. You probably do. This is this is two. You have somebody here that is noble. You have somebody here that is um, protective and a true king. And you also got a player over here. You do have a player. You have somebody that is deceptive. They're not showing you the truth. They're not telling you the truth. They um, are probably begging you for attention because, you know, they want supply. Yeah, they do. They want supply. They want your energy. Oh, my fucking God. That makes me sick. They want your energy. You're going to have to make a choice this month. You want to you, you want to walk away from the fool or do you want or the, the player, the one that has lied to you that is in another relationship or whatever? Or do you want to have somebody who's going to take care of you? What's it going to be? Anyhow, you know, I'm an intuitive reader. Mostly the cards are just tools for my intuition. I look at them and out comes the words. I'm more of an intuitive. <sighs> Flexible. Teachability. Are you teachable? Are you teachable, Leo? Are you? Teachability. Open-mindedness. Being adaptable without compromising what's most important. A tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground. Yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it is made. It may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now. Willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. Open mind is important as well. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. You're going to have to be flexible. Make sure you're using common sense. Even when you have a clear vision of how you're going to manifest something, what will it look like? Who will share it? Who will share in it? And what what will then be available to you? You will need to relax and open up to other possibilities. Spirit may have a much better plans for you. <laughs> it could be a job you hadn't thought of, a new source of money, or some other opportunity that eluded your imagination. Be flexible and remind yourself this or something better manifests for me now. Then be willing to bend a little. Enjoy the miraculous results. Yeah. Source. Source. This card just fell out of the deck. Seven of Wands. Protect yourself. Defend yourself. Seriously, you need to protect yourself. Source. Surrender fear with the power of prayer. And this is prayer. You're The next three months, you really need to go into a meditative state. And that is no joke. Surrender fear with the power of prayer. Miracles can happen now. And we saw miracles in this one too. So there, there's this, and this is an opportunity that you haven't seen yet. But you have to surrender completely to what is not meant for you. As a source of comfort and hope, prayerful thoughts strengthen your faith in life and divine consciousness. Life isn't always happiness and joy. And there's a lot of Leos that won't even make it this far in this reading because they didn't like what they heard in the first reading. And it's because life is not always happiness and joy. And Leos have a hard time accepting that. They really do. They don't want to hear it. I get Leos that comment underneath. They want me to make it all positive. That is not reality. Experiencing sadness and sorrow is a part of life. 
Turning to prayer during times of trouble and darkness opens pathways for the divine, for the divine will to act upon your behalf. The power of prayer can be assessed by anyone, anywhere, at any time. When positive energy exists within and around us, it can help us balance any physical or mental condition. Divine Source speaks to us through prayer when we truly surrender our fear and open our heart to pure love. Pure love. Pure love. People tend to turn to prayer only in times of trouble. In fact... They should offer prayer even in good times to show gratitude and thanks for blessings they have received. A continued flow of divine surrender opens us to new possibilities while increasing our strength on a spiritual level. Have faith. And you're going to be vibrating high in month number two. For those of you that walk away from the disappointing situation, there's a high vibration here. There is. Some of you will not be. Because of this mask that is being worn. Some of you will continue to wear the mask. And that's just the way it is. Anyway. Have faith. The ascended master, masters in the heavenly realms will respond in divine deliverance. If you surrender your heart to receive. And I tell you what. You haven't seen it yet. But they got something for you. But you have to surrender what does not serve you and I know you're sick of hearing it I do it then divine communication is strong right now messages from loved ones angels ascended masters and divine source are brought to you now pay attention to thoughts feelings and impressions you receive during and after prayer this is prayer. You better, the next three months, October, November, December, maybe part of January, is about meditating, listening, praying, going within, finding out who you are, receiving answers from above, changing your whole self, healing, self healing. It's not about rushing into a relationship with somebody, it's about self love. Anyway. The power of prayer is strengthened by your spiritual state, but some of you want to rush into a relationship. It's true. It's true. But there's no relationship in these cards. Really, there isn't. It's like they haven't shown it to you yet. It's, it's coming. But you have to work on yourself first. And Leos want to skip that part, right? They want to skip that part. Let's skip it. I need somebody right now. I need somebody right now. You need somebody right now? Narcissists? <laughs> Dream. Dream. The power of prayer is strengthened by your spiritual state. Mantras open doors for divine communication. Using a prayer or dharma wheel brings purification and value to your heart's requests. Right now, pray for the miracles you need. You are being divinely assisted. Truly, you are. Some of you will refuse to hear it and you will rush and that narcissist will scoop you up. Good luck. We're moving on to month number three. Month number three. You have an opportunity waiting in month number two. It's coming. It's probably not going to be shown to you yet. It's not. It's not shown to you yet. It's not going to be shown because you, you, you still need to go within. The next three months are about going within. Taking a break from the outside world. Taking a break from being in a hurry. Not letting yourself be abused anymore. Tree of Life. Come to the edge. This is your roots. We're going to read them because I like to read them. Look at that. Month number three. This is somebody that knows their value. This is somebody that has experienced pain. Um, has learned some sort of life lesson. This is somebody that uh, has 
suffered, but now it's time for a miracle. This is a miracle. This is the birth of a new life. Multiple options. If you have taken the pre, if, if you are the female, this is a female. This is a female. If you are the female and have you, and if you have taken those previous two months to heal and to uh, deliver the pain that you've been through, and this is a mother. This is a mother, okay? She takes care of her children, including her own. So, if you are the female watching this, this is you who that has taken the time to nurture. You have a blessing that is coming. If you are the male, this is who you are dealing with. This is who is coming into your life. This is this is uh, who you have manifested. This is the queen of all queens. She knows her value and she will not settle for a third party situation. Uh-uh. If you are involved in a third party situation and you are the female, this is not you. Because this woman does not settle for such nonsense. She knows her value to the extreme. Ooh. Well, this is commitment. This is happiness. Month number three. Oh my God. Six of cups. Somebody that you are very familiar with. This is, this is remembering what love feels like. This person, if you are the male, can this person is so beautiful and lovely, can take very good care of you. If you are the female, you have multiple options. Somebody's going to come to you. This female doesn't chase anybody. Nobody. So if you are the male and you have your eye on this female who knows her value, is very beautiful, could be a Libra, could be a Taurus. If you have your eye on this woman, she's not coming after you because she knows her value. She don't chase men. Ooh, could be dealing with a Capricorn. How'd that get reversed? Huh, we got a reversal here. Not working together. Because I, I wanted to make these all upright and do it that way for this three month. But we got a reversal. We're going to keep it. And obviously it was meant to happen that way. This is not working together with somebody from your past. That's why this happened. This is not somebody from your past. So if you think it is, I'm here to, to pop your little bubble. It's not. This is somebody else. It's, it could be an earth sign. I feel like it's an earth sign. Could be, could be a Capricorn. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So it could definitely be a, an earth sign. Um, so month number three. We have somebody here that uh, is coming out of hiding. This is your, this is, remember we, we, we talked about this. We talked about isolation. We talked about praying. We talked about going within. This is coming, this is com by the end of the third month. And that makes complete sense. Probably by January. Because this is like four. So January, right around January, your, your, your time of reflection, your time of isolation is over. You've done your work. You've dealt with the pain. You've healed the child. You've taken care of the child. I got the chills. My hair is standing right up on my arms. You've done what you've done your work. And now you have your blessing. Here's your miracle. This is not working together with somebody from your past. This is your soulmate. Okay, you got a, you're going to have a deep deep bond with somebody. You got your a soulmate connection is going to come into your life, okay? This person has hasn't shown up yet. This is the toxic individual. From the past. It is. This is a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. But this is the unhealthy addiction. 
but this is healing that addiction as well. And this is healing. Let's get some clarifiers. You know, I had a dream about this card last night. I bet it was for you, and it's completely gone, too. Damn it. It was very prominent. And it was this card in this deck, too. I'm sure it was for you. Damn it. It's gone, too. Yeah, this is this is being being on your own, knowing your value, knowing your worth, not letting this person control you, waiting, waiting for that one, waiting for the perfect match, waiting for the arrival that you deserve, getting prepared. So the previous three months of getting prepared and working on yourself and bringing yourself up, now something is arriving. But this devil, this is, oh well... You're going to be really tempted. This person is very attractive, very, very sexy. Whoever this person is, very, very sexy and attractive. This person's going to rush right into your life as if by, it's going to be a shock. It is going to be a shock. Um, you may meet this person at some sort of party. You're out with your friends or some sort of celebration. Um, this per It's just this person's going to come right out of the blue. Um, you're going to have a bond with this person almost instantly. It's like you're going to be feel like you knew this person forever, whoever this person is. End of January or end of December, January. That's what I'm seeing with this. So it's like end of December, beginning of January, okay? Maybe even be a New Year's Eve thing. I mean, I'm just guessing. I mean, I don't know where that came from. But I feel like uh something is coming that you have been getting prepared for it in the previous months. Okay, this is your delivery. This is your delivery. You're on your own before that. You're you're working on yourself. You're working on your business. You're working on your job. You're working on your prosperity. You're working on your home. You're working on yourself. You're working on your self-worth, right? And all of a sudden, here it comes. Remember the month remember the month before I said to you you haven't seen it yet. It hasn't been shown to you yet because you're being called to be get prepared for it. The previous months before. So for those of you that are still holding on to a toxic situation, you could miss this golden opportunity. Just because you want somebody that isn't meant for you, and you know they're not meant for you, but it's somebody for this moment, when you really should be working on yourself, taking a time out from, you know, running around and, and playing games and whatever, take this time because you got an opportunity for happiness, you know, a comfortable relationship with somebody that could, could make you feel alive again. This is who you asked for. You know, this person, they, they can't bring it to you if you haven't healed, if you're not ready, if you are... You don't know your value and you don't know your worth. I mean, they're going to keep bringing you things to teach you your value and your worth until you learn it. And that's a fact. So if you if you don't know your value and your worth, then this part is not for you. This is for somebody who knows their value and knows their worth and isn't going to let themselves be taken advantage of by somebody that is in another relationship or just wants to use them for sex or whatever. This person that knows their value is about to have somebody rush into their life very unexpectedly. This person um, is very spiritual. I feel like this person is spiritual. This person is not the person from the past, just so you know. But this person could be a soulmate that from a from the past, okay? So it's not, let me clarify this because I know this is confusing. Confusing. This is somebody that you are going to be very familiar with. This is a soulmate connection, okay? Somebody that you may have a soul tie. Soul, soul, soul tie, okay? Somebody that you may have a soul tie, tie with, but it's not the it's not the past person that involved you in a third party, okay? So, say your ex or the last one, and it doesn't have to be your ex. And I don't, for, for, for one person in particular that is watching this, it is not the one, that, it's not your ex, it's the most recent one. So, I know that she are in denial and all, but it's the most recent one. Um, but anyhow, um... 
somebody is rushing in. Somebody is going to rush in if you are this 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 queen of all queens. If you are the male, this this could be you rushing into this person's life because this person, if you are the male, if you are the male watching this, you want to you want the empress or do you want a whore? Being honest. The empress does not chase men. So if you are the male and you want an empress, this is you, not her. She is not desperate. And she is looking for her emperor. So, now this could also, this is like the answer to your prayers. So month number three. Month number three is like, this is the answer to your prayers. This could lead to marriage. This per You're going to be very familiar with this person. Like you've known them forever. I do. It could be a, uh, I think it's an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. So, month number three. The breath of life is all around us. Create strong foundations to support future goals and aspirations. The breath of life is all around us. Self-sustaining, the universal tree of life provides a gateway to connect us to the knowledge of self. You are deeply connected to the universe and the world around you. When you respond to the actions and reactions of the earth and its people, you ultimately decide how you will grow and thrive. The tree of life requires you to look at your breath and to ground yourself in the present moment. Nature does not concern itself with the future. Plants know exactly what they need to do at any given moment. Living in the present will provide you with more time. Your presence is all that is required right now. You are strong and resilient. Hold your space. Where are your roots? Plant and keep your feet firmly on the ground now. Any sudden change may cause instability in your personal life. Dig your roots deep in the earth to create a firm foundation that you can build from. Are you relying too much on the support of others to help you grow? You have the answers within you to, to determine your direction of growth, but you must be willing to face your inner self and core beliefs. With solid nurturing and time, you will begin to see results. What I see here is there is, I feel like this is like a soulmate connection. that is coming in after you break free completely from an unhealthy situation. This is the answer to your prayers. Okay? It is. It is. It is. It's the answer to your prayers. It's like, first of all, threes. Threes are the answer to your prayers. Three, three, three. Your prayers have been heard when you see three, three, three. Three, 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 three. So it's like they're going to answer your prayers. And you know why? Because you know your value. You took the previous months, the previous three months, to not let yourself be taken advantage of, to know your value, to go through the period of growth, to go through the period of healing, to deliver the pain, to, to heal your child, your own child. When you take that time, now they're going to answer your prayers because you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready for your miracle. Now that you are ready, here it is. But if you skip that part, you are not ready. And this reading is not for you. Come to the edge. And no, I'm not going to say this in an undertone. I'm, a spirit speaks through me. Undertone is going to get you nowhere. If I said this all like this the whole time, this is how it's going to be. Would it even register? So for that person that is going to comment, you need to change your tone. That's for you. Come to the edge. 
courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated. To feel the exhilaration as you are ready, as you ready yourself to ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self, which I do, in my tone. Try it. Try it. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. And I had one of my friends who happens to be a Leo that commented on one of my son's posts. Do the logical thing. And that's why I blocked her. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. She shouldn't have been meddling on my son's page anyway. Anyhow, it's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you, you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe. But to take a leap of faith, you will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the, go toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. So the, you, it's like a prayer is being answered in month number. End of December, January. Could be January. Um, and you're being called to take a risk. This is, this is kind of like the fool card. Um, I think that you will meet this person at some sort of celebration. Could be out partying. Could be out drinking. Um, could be a New Year's Eve party. Could be after after New Year's Eve. I feel like this person will reawaken your feelings of love. Um, love for another. Because I think that you you are going to reawaken your own feelings of what love is in the previous three months. Self-love. I think the first three months are about self-love. And then at the end of it, you receive some sort of gift. This is like a blessing. Here's your, here's your gift. Here's your reward for doing the work. For taking the break. For taking the time out. So, um, somebody's going to rush into your life suddenly. It is going, it's what, it's exactly what you have been waiting for. It is. It is. But for those of you that are still holding on to the unhealthy situation, you know, the timeline is not accurate. And uh, this reading may not be for you because there is definitely somebody here that is um, refusing to uh, not play with a player. So that's what I got. And good luck.